Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send offline conversion updates to Google Ads. So a lot of users use Google Ads to market their business. But after getting an offline conversion, it is very tough to update that same data to Google Ads. And it is very necessary to do so to maintain or get the latest and accurate number of ROIs for your business. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automation workflow on Google Ads and send offline conversion data to Google Ads. So just for reference in this video, we have taken an example of Salesforce as a CRM application. So whenever you get a new sale on your store, on your business, you update that status or that sale data to Salesforce. So here in this workflow, in this automation workflow, we have selected Salesforce as a trigger application and the trigger event is update field on record. That whenever we will update a record of status of any lead to convert it in Salesforce account, then we will get the data of that updated field or updated lead in Pavli Connect. So we have selected Salesforce object as lead that we are updating lead and the field is status that we are updating status. And particularly, we want to get data for the status that if the status is converted, then only we want the data in Pavli Connect. And after that, we have received the response. And here in response, you can see that we have the details of a new lead. For example, the name of the lead, the company and other details of the lead. Also, I have an added another custom field of GCL ID of the leads, like whatever leads I'm creating in my CRM using Google Ads, I'm adding a custom field of GCL ID data to them. So using this, we have the GCL ID of this customer as well. After getting the data from your CRM application in the public clinic workflow, what we want to do, we want to ensure that only the customer having this GCL ID only the details or the conversion data of only those customers should be sent to Google Ads. So for that, we have added a step of filter. So using filter, we have added a filter condition that if this data, if this response of GCL ID exists, then only we should continue this automation workflow and we should send this conversion data, offline conversion data to Google Ads. After ensuring this condition, guys, what we have done, we have added a delay and that delay is of 24 hours because Google Ads needs a delay time of 24 hours after clicking that. So what we want that we want to give Google Ads a complete time that just in case if a user sees the ad, clicks on it and makes the purchase or gets converted, what do we want? We want to update that data as well. But Google Ads needs 24 hours after the click on the ad. So that's why we have added like whenever this customer will be converted automatically this automation workflow will execute but we will delay this automation workflow for next 24 hours and after that after delaying for it for 24 hours we will send this conversion data to google ads so here in this step guys we what we have done we have added google ads as an application and the action event from the drop down we have selected send offline conversion with gcl id after that we have connected our google ads account just click on this connect button, select add new connection and to make the connection guys, click on this sign in with Google button. Select the customer ID or enter the customer ID of your Google Ads account. So let me enter the customer ID of my Google Ads account and let me remove these hyphens from here. And after that, just click on save. Then we have to select our Google Ads account over here, scroll down and click on allow. And that is it. Our Google Ads account gets connected with Pavli Connect in this step. Then after making the connection, the next thing it asks us is use Google Ads as. So it is possible that you must be having many multiple manager IDs in your Google Ads account. So in the drop down below, you can see a list of all manager IDs and you can select the manager ID of your choice from the drop down. Then you may be managing multiple Google Ads account as well. So here from the drop down below, you can select the customer ID that for which customer using this automation, you want to send or update the Google Ads offline conversion data. Then it is asking us for the GCL ID. So Google click ID it is asking us. So we have created a custom field of GCL ID in Salesforce or the CRM application or the application from which you are getting this data in the trigger. So what we have to do, we have to map this GCL ID response over here. So we have added a filter that if a user, if a customer with GCL ID is converted, then only this automation workflow should be executed. So from the Salesforce responses, select the response of GCL ID. This is it. And it will be mapped over here. Then it is asking us conversion action name. So right now I have created only one action named as converted lead. So that's why I have selected that option. 
that action from the drop down below then it is asking us for the timestamp that at what date and time this customer or this lead was converting so from the salesforce we have received the latest update time of this contact or this lead so let's search for that and yes last modified date so we have to select and map this last modified date over here after that it is asking us for the value that what was the value of this conversion so basically what you can do you can update the value in the trigger application for example we have taken salesforce so in that way you can update the value in the trigger application itself as description or any other custom field and also map that same value over here right now i'll just enter this as the value and then you have to enter the currency for this value as well after this you just have to click on save and send test request and as you hit on save and send test request guys this offline conversion data or offline conversion update will be sent to google ads and it will be updated over there so in this way guys you can set up an automation workflow using which you can send offline conversion updates to google ad with gcl id so this is it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful to you if you had any kind of doubt or queries you can write us on forum.pavli.com so this is it for today's video thank you have a great day